we talked about that. It started off with thoughts. And if you can think about it, and I don't care what you're doing, go down and write that down. Mm -hmm. All right? And let that be a small or a long-term goal. But make your goals really high, right? So even if you don't reach that goal that's really high, you know. Something between here and something, there. Something between that's here and right. there. It, it's that's gonna right. Be. I'm going to say this to everybody out there, especially if you've been previously incarcerated. This way, everybody's been previously incarcerated. If you worked for seventeen dollars a month, mm -hmm. or twenty-three dollars a month, or that big job I had for fifty-four dollars a month, and and you won't come out here, or you're too proud to make fifteen dollars an hour, mm -hmm. or sixteen, or seventeen dollars an hour, believe me, something is wrong with your math. Mm -hmm. It's something that's definitely wrong with your math because anything that you get right now outside prison is a blessing. Yeah, it's all about being humble and know. And here's something else: knowing your worth. You have to know your worth. They taught us about knowing your worth. That's right. That sounds like a, ch a church term and all that, but it's not. You got to know your worth. When I was actually out there uh, doing orientations and whatnot, and I'll just say this. I went to a place called Score. Mm -hmm. It was Score Share. Excuse me, it's called Share. It's a, and I'm gonna give you a shout out. Share sixty six sixty six Great Valley Circle, right off of Sidnella. Right. In Compton. No, 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 no. It's right by the Fox and Mall. Okay. Right by the Fox and Mall. Gotcha. Um, so, uh, so I go there, and I'm I'm in there, and I'm doing an orientation and whatnot. And the guy pulled me to the side. I said, "Man, how much you make?" Mm -hmm. I said, uh, I just started, sixteen dollars an hour. He said, no, I'll give you eighteen, nineteen dollars an hour right now. I just need you to, I need you to do whatever you just did out there. I need you to do that here. And it's a brother, and I don't love, and I'm like, I said, I said, you know what, man? I want to thank you, but my heart is right here. Mm -hmm. And 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 the reason I say that is because these are the people who gave me a chance when I got home, mm -hmm. and I'm real big on loyalty. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here tonight because this woman right here, she. Through her stories and through what she was teaching us, her and Melinda, what they were teaching us while I was locked up, it was actually, one, I don't know if it was one or two hours we got to uh, be in the class, but that was one or two hours that every week I knew that I was on the streets. I felt like I was at home. I felt like I was, wasn't talking to CDC. I felt like I wasn't talking to uh, just somebody that came in there for a paycheck. Uh, I, I actually felt like I was talking to somebody that was in there to actually help us and see us through our times that we were that, that we were doing. And then, um, and what was funny, I would tell Noreen, "I'm gonna see you out there. I, I'm everywhere." And then, <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, I, I said, "I don't be hiding from." I said, "I don't know about these dudes back here because I used to be in the front." I said, "I'm gonna be out there." I said, "I'm I go everywhere." I said, if it's going to be something cracking, I'm going to be there. Because I'm not hiding from nobody. I've done no wrong to nobody. I was humble and uh, 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 did whatever I had to do in prison. You know, I didn't turn down no fights and none of that old kind of stuff. I wasn't on my bunk <laughs> not doing nothing. I wasn't that type of dude. But, at the, but in the same token, I can say this. I'm a grown man. Um, I know how to carry myself like a grown man. And because the classes like Noreen... I was able to absorb that, but I got to the streets. Because one of the things that, you know, when you talk about the worth, I remember we had several sessions about that. And, Absolutely. And it was very important for Melinda, Melinda Johnson. She was Williams. She was using Williams at the time. She was right. still married. And she is Melinda Johnson. Um, she's with um, Alpha. And they're an organization that has programs inside of a lot of the prisons in the state of California. And in fact, all over the country, actually. Melinda is the person who uh, first took me into a prison um, in the first place. Mm -hmm. And um, when I told her, she did tell me to tell you hello. Um, and so um, we'll probably have to all get together because she, you know, I remember um, we, she raised the question uh, for the men because we were talking about relationships and she was raising the question, you may say you want this kind of woman, but the kind of woman you respond to right. is totally different. Right. You say you want a good, classy woman, a woman with this and a woman with that, but you respond to that hood rat. And part of the reason you respond to the hood rat is because it makes you feel like you the king. 
and I said the king. You the king of the rats. Okay, yeah, you the king. Yeah, I you huh? Right, okay, right. I, I, I want to speak on that too. Yes. I've, I've um, since since I was in the classes with you guys, I've come in contact with a young lady named Darlene Burke, and I'm, I'm also in a group called Ten Toes In. Mm -hmm, yes. Right, mm -hmm. and um, and it's all about relationships, and um, I've also learned that. Because I thought I was in a great relationship when I got home. And I was. And um, I can say this. If I had a chance to do it all over again, I would. And I would do it a bit different. I would um, let her be her. Mm. Yeah. And I, and I think I took a little bit of her from her because I'm used to paying for everything, for dates and whatnot. I'm used to being a gentleman when mm -hmm. it comes to those type of things. Mm -hmm. But but she's like, like I'm an alpha male. Mm -hmm. She's an alpha female. Mm -hmm. And she was used to like taking her girlfriends to go eat. Because she's, she's a nurse. She's been mm -hmm. a nurse for almost 30 years. Mm -hmm. Right? So um, she was used to being the person. Right? And when I came, I'm like, nah. Mm -hmm. Kick back. You don't got to do that no more. Mm -hmm. I'm here now. You know, let me do that. And we didn't see eye to eye on a few things, right? And I should have just let her be her. Um, and I want to stop right there and say, maybe at least sometime, right? So maybe not all the time, right? But maybe at least sometime mm -hmm. yield. In other words, a little balance, because right. you got so the so. In my book, Her People Highway, I give you the definition of what is healthy, and part of that definition is it's balance is there's right. a balance in the relationship right. where there's no balance right. um people are somebody's getting hurt somebody's being harmed it's right. not healthy and so what you could have done literally was maybe not all the time but then also uh sometimes just let her have her way now what i will say is i would love to um have had an opportunity to speak to her in the process to let her know mm -hmm. that it's okay because because men need to be needed, right? Men need to feel well. Real men, not real, to say no, all men. Yes, okay. Real men yeah. <laughs> want to feel needed. They want to feel. They want to protect the woman that they're with. They want to take care of her. That is that is how they express their affection and love. And so, when as women, one of the things I had to learn was how to find other ways to make a real man feel needed despite the fact that yes I have my own job yes I bought my own house and bought my own two pieces of property yes I'm the boss of my organization yes all oh, yada yada whatever 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 right yeah. did all of those things but when I go when I go into relationship I'm just a woman all that stuff I leave all that at the door I, I would love to just be able to just be Miss right, 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 right. You see what I'm saying? And so, and so, but some women don't, we don't, we're not, especially in, and I'm probably just going to hate when I say this, but for us, for black women, we have been so over, overburdened in so many ways. I know, but, but you, but what you can't do, but what you can't do, though, Pike, is you cannot diminish our experience. I'm not anybody. Yeah, but I'm just saying. I'm going to paint you green. I know, and if we could do that, we could do that. But the reality is, for now, I want everybody we, to be green. He wants, he wants, he wants everybody to be green. But the reality is, is I don't walk around green currently, and mm -hmm. and our experience, yeah. particularly as women in this country, carrying around my black skin, mm -hmm. has presented challenges for me, Pike. Well, it I, has, and I and I know yours no, has presented. It's not that. It's just like like you said, okay. He was in prison. She was out here. You be used to doing things a certain way. You're right. Period. It just that's just how it goes. It's not. It's not so easy for us to reprogram our brain in a couple of months or a couple of years to be like, okay, he here. He can do this. No, we don't think like that. Well, it yeah, never occurs to us. Yeah, I don't, we're not thinking like that. It's like, okay, he here. I, I gotta. Your mind is still running, running to take care of all the things you need to take care of, no matter what. Right. If he here or not here, because you gotta remember. Our brain always thinks like this. He could be gone again. Yes. Well, that's, not, well, well, that's just it. With me, with me, no, Pike, I want to hear what you got to say. You went in in the 80s. I went in 81. Right. And uh, your relationships with people, you know, all the time you're in prison and you're right. not 
you're still thinking that way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the times in the 80s and the times now are so so much different that, you know, it takes you some time to say, okay, wait a minute. The water is coming up. Yeah, this is it's, it's so, it's so, it's so, it's right now dating and trying to be with somebody and all that stuff. It's kind of like a... Uh, it's a job. It's, it's, a, it's, it's more than a job now. Because it's like now it's like, and then you look on people's pages and I, I try to not even yeah, think about that, that kind of stuff. Because that, that'll give you a misconception of, of who somebody is. So um, I like to just talk to somebody. And then uh, if the first thing that comes out of your mouth is, oh, you have just in Paris last year and this, that, and other. Oh, good for you. I went to Paris, California. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's not, I mean, it's not like I don't want to go to Paris, okay? But you know, and then and then I thought about it, and I got quiet, and I thought about when my grandmother used to write me back in '88, right? And I was at Tehachapi, and she was just going through all through Europe, right? Mm -hmm. And she showed me she was showing pictures of France. And, and Rome and, mm -hmm. and the, Colise the, the Colosseum mm -hmm. and all these great things. And I was like, now I know why people want to yes. do that kind of stuff. I want to go in that little canal. Uh -huh. I want to be on that <laughs> You want to be canal. in Venice? I want to be, be in love with <laughs> that little They say it stinks, though. They say oh, it okay. stinks I'll really bad. I just want a picture. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't, I don't want my only picture to be on the on, on the jet stream at Magic Mountain. I, 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 I want to do some some nice oh, stuff. I mean, because what am I making the money for? Right. What am I, I, what, you know. And, and I but I just kind of land with the thought that I, that what I was trying to say mm -hmm. is this: because we're so accustomed to being under attack and right. having to carry so much of a load for everything. Our mindset is very difficult for us just to shift. And like you said, well, we don't lady. automatically shift. No, we don't. Yeah, she wants to say something. Yes, go ahead. I, I was just going to say, like, similar to what you're saying, is most times women, I'll just say women of power or women of stature or women that do carry their own right. weight, they tend to want to be extra submissive or extra lax in relationships because they have to be so dominant in other places. So, oh, well, and, 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 this is, and this is where... We we butted heads. I said you can do all that with your friends. Mm -hmm. Don't try that at home with mm -hmm. me. It doesn't work with me. Mm -hmm. I, I, especially out of the, you know. And then I'll say it like this: I did dorm living, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I could never get past a, a level two or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I could ram my points on going to a cell. Mm -hmm. Hell, no, I want to be in one place with one person because I want to be like I'm almost at home. Okay. At all times, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't want to be behind the wall and all this shit. I no, excuse me, fuck that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I wanted, I wanted to feel some, some, a sense of normality. Sure. Right. I wanted, I wanted to be. So when I came to the groups, I, I, I was looking for freedom, mm. or I wanted my mm. mind. I wanted to feel like I was mm -hmm. at least at home. I'm the opposite. Yeah, well, I, I that's. No, uh, I'm just saying that, that you know it's easier to deal with with one bastard than. Right, right, and it is. It is for some people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to me, but to me, I could be. It was like, because I grew up, off between Adams and Washington mm -hmm. on Sixth Ave. Mm -hmm. So my weekends consisted of downtown LA. Mm -hmm. Um. Right now. We've had problems with, well, not right now, I'll just say five years ago. We used to have to go take some guys from Amity and, you know, and tell them, okay, we're going to go on a walk today. And they would go downtown. They get to Broadway and Seventh and be like, oh, shit. <clears throat> and just have a panic attack Straight because up. it's too many people. Too, too many, too many, many too many, too many people. I've been out a little over five years. Right. And I used to go to church a lot until my back got me. I could I could do the chapel, but they break up in groups, right? Right. In rooms. Right. I can't do the rooms. No way. You don't.